A common issue that comes up when you're working with data is that you have different data sets that you want to combine. And in particular, I'm going to talk today about when you have data that you want to plot as line graphs and you have one data set that has an X and a Y column and another data set with another X and Y column and you want to bring these together because this is something that actually can be a little bit confusing as to how to do in a spreadsheet. And to get that to work requires a little bit of tedious manipulation of your data. And if you have a lot of data, it might be a lot of tedious manipulation of your data. Hi, I'm Pamela Schultz, and I'm going to show you how we solve this problem in data graph in such a way that does not require you to do any tedious data manipulation. We will be using Datagraph version 5.5 for this demo. And Datagraph, if you don't know what that is, is a Mac OS application. Professional graphing and data analysis is what Datagraph does. If you are a Datagraph user and you're coming from spreadsheet applications, then this video especially would be great for you to watch because there may be some habits that you learned of how to do things when you're working in a spreadsheet. And those things are just simply not necessary when you start using Datagraph and in fact might make your life more difficult than it needs to be. And in this video, we're going to talk first about this set of data and the scenario, particularly that I'm talking about bringing some data sets together. We're going to show you this problem that we have in spreadsheets and then show you the solution in Datagraph. But I'm also going to show you how easy it is once you have your graph set up to then add even more data sets to that graph, a simple drag and drop and you're done. The data that I want to use for this example is something that I have definitely encountered uh, doing laboratory work where you have multiple iterations of a certain experiment and you're collecting data during each experiment and each iteration. And in particular, I've had instances myself where I've collected some data and maybe my first experiment, I only take a few data points because I'm getting my feet wet and trying to set things up. And then as time goes on, I take more and more data points and I want all that data all on the same graph. Well, this is exactly the type of scenario that again, if I have this data in a spreadsheet, then this can be difficult to then pull together because to do the line graph in the spreadsheet, I have really two options. I have to either manipulate my data in order to have all of my X values in the same column. And you will find a lot of tutorials out there that tell you this is the way to do this. I personally don't like this technique because you're then moving data around. And again, this is going to be prone to errors and could be really tedious if I have a lot of columns and a lot of data sets. Here you're now looking at the data graph user interface where we have all of our data arranged. And in data graph, we are able to set things up into groups. We don't use tabs like you do in Excel, but groups are kind of the analog. And they're great because if you only need two columns per group, then you only set up two columns in each group. So here I have my first experiment with my two columns, second experiment, two columns, and then my third experiment with two columns. And to put this on the same graph, all I have to do is to select my first two columns, add a line plot, select the next two, add another line plot, and the last, uh, the third group, and add my final line plot. And that's all I need to do to get this data all on the same graph. The reason that this works in data graph is that each command we added is considered an independent layer essentially that's drawn within my graph and I can modify these to change the colors and the symbols to then customize them and when I do that notice that the icon for each of the commands will also have that same customization so it also makes it really easy to track which data goes with which command. There's just a couple more things I want to show you and I am at the end going to show you how easy it is to add more data sets here. But before I do that, let's go back and look at our graph. And I want to show you how I added first a couple of titles and to talk a little bit about setting up the legend properly for this graph. Because for many graphs, if you go ahead and just add the legend from the toolbar, it will list all of the commands and the names of the data sets that are associated with them. But in this case, because all of my columns all have the same exact name, then the same name is listed. Not very helpful. What I want to do here is I actually want to use the name of the group rather than the name of the column, because I already have my data set up in groups the way that I'm setting this file up. 
and that would be convenient to have that name be what's shown in the legend. There's two ways I can access editing the legend. One way is to expand open my commands, and down at the bottom, you'll see that there is a legend entry box that you can change. But I'd like to show you also another way, which is to go to the graph itself and to the legend that you've already added. And you can double click actually either on the left hand side, you can double click the symbols and you get a pop up that lets you change the symbols. Or if you double click on the right, you can change what is shown in the legend. This is a really handy shortcut to be aware of. And uh, here, what I'm going to do is actually just delete that existing token and change it to the Y uh, group token. And once I have that token set up, actually the tokens themselves can be copied and pasted into the other commands, making it pretty quick for me to update this for all of the data that I have within this graph. Now I want to show you the ease with which I can add more data to this same graph. Because if I go ahead and I add an additional data set into this file, then there's just really two things I need to do to have that data added to this graphic. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new command, but rather than starting from scratch, I would recommend trying out the ability to clone a command or make a copy. You can either select the command and do an edit, copy, edit, paste. I really love using the clone option, which is clicking on the command, holding down the option key and dragging it down. And when you see that green plus symbol, you let the uh, your cursor go and you'll have a clone. Now that I have the clone, all I need to do is take the group object of my additional data set that I added and drag and drop that right on that cloned command. I'm going to also want to update the colors or the symbols on that, but it is a really quick way to add more and more data. So again, what did we do? We just cloned the command and then we could drag and drop that data set onto that command. And the reason that this works is because anytime you drag and drop a group from the data side panel onto a command, when there are columns that have the same name already referred to in the command that are in that group, it will change the reference to come from that new group. And you can always tell that by if you want to click on a menu and wait a moment, you'll see that little green arrow over in the left hand side that will point to whatever group that's coming from. That's a handy way to confirm what data is being used here. You can also always use the gear menu to check on what we call the clients and the suppliers for any command as well. That's another way to confirm where is the data, what data is being used in this particular command. Ultimately, the reason why Datagraph is effective at handling data like this is because it really is a visual programming language and it gives you an option for when you realize that Excel may be something that you're growing out of, rather than having to immediately turn to programming everything in Python or R, Datagraph gives you a really quick option to be able to graph your data, visualize your data, analyze your data, and make really nice looking graphs while you're at it. If this video was helpful, then please think of giving us a like, subscribe to our channel, and any questions or comments, leave them below or email us, help at visualdatatools.com.